Hey guys, it's George here with the new deck list for the June 2023 ban list featuring Sky Strikers. Uh, we just got a few new toys off the ban list and uh, we're going to give it a shot for the new format. So we'll start off with the deck list here. Go with the main first. So, newly back at two, we have two copies of Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. Uh, you know, basically, Pot of Greed for the deck, uh, such as any striker spell. If you have three spells in the grave, you draw an extra card. Really happy this is back at two. This is something the deck really needed to help keep up with the new meta, and very happy that we're back at it. Uh, one of the newest cards in the Striker Engine is the Striker Sky Striker Mobilize Link Gauge. This was really good replacement, not a replacement for Engage, but it, it helped you play through boards, steal your opponent's monsters with Widow Anchor, link them off for your uh, Striker Link monsters. Basically, uh, if you <laughs> don't have access to Ray, this is another copy of Ray. Uh, then we have the three Widow Anchors. Uh, effect negation, monster stealing for the deck, one of your main ways of uh, helping build yourself some more board presence and going for bigger plays. Newly back at three, uh, we're currently only playing two because I don't want to brick on the card, uh, but newly back at three, Sky Tracker Mecha Modules Multi-Roll helps you recycle cards from the deck. Now uh, with two, you don't need to worry about them getting rid of one, you have more for backup. We'll do some more testing, uh, see if a third one is going to be better, but for now, uh, just that two. Uh, more two ofs. We have two Sky Striker Airspace Area Zero. I uh, was previously playing this at three, but uh, I think with the Engage back at two, you have a lot more access to this, so we're just playing it at two. Uh, another two of, we have the Afterburners. Second one comes up, uh, helps you destroy cards. The non targeting uh, spell and trap removal is yeah, it's okay. Uh, but for actual spell and trap removal, we do have the Jamming Wave, just a single copy, uh, again, just for the spot removal, and uh, the non-targeting monster destruction, it's pretty good. Another couple one ofs here, we've got the Hornet Drones, it's that one, get your token, good card. Eagle Booster, protects your monsters from uh, destruction by battle, uh, not a bad card. Shark Cannon. Uh, last one of the deck, last striker spell. It's your DD Crow. Uh, also, a monster born for your opponent's monsters. Uh, On to the more generic cards. We have two Lightning Storm and one Dark Hole. Uh, Dark Hole over Raigeki because uh, sometimes you just want to clear your own board uh, and that helps with that. Uh, Lightning Storm because it's, well, it's at two now. Uh, one of the striker's best spell cards. Ah, uh, what can you what can you complain about? We have a uh, three engage now, uh, two engage now. Some more two We've got two thrusts and two tactic talents. Uh, this searches just about any spell card in your deck, except for the quick plays. Uh, tactics is uh, great for drawing cards, ripping cards from your opponent's hand. This is a primarily going second deck, so these cards, along with the lightning storms and dark holes, really come up. Uh, now we have the Striker Monsters, 3 Ray, main uh, monster of the deck, Ray is Ray, uh, Striker Monsters uh, removed from the field, bring it back, quick effect to link into a Striker Monster, good card. Uh, we're playing two rows, uh, two rows is similar to Ray, uh, light target, so it helps uh, get your linkage effect uh, online, and uh, similar to Ray, just a Striker Monster, summons itself back from Grave. Uh, Good card. Uh, onto the hand traps. Like three ash. Ash is always good to fall back on at the beginning of a format. It's a really easy card to put into any deck. It affects just about every deck. No complaints with ash. Uh, for monster removal, we have two Nibiru's and two Gamma Seal. I'm not playing the Striker Kaiju. I just don't think it's very good. Um, now with less area zeros, you don't really need it. Uh, Gamma Seal, my opinion, is just better. Uh, it's easier to hit over. Gamma Seal is good. Uh, and then last card in the deck, playset of the Infinite Impermanence. 
more Monster Negate. Uh, not too sure if I'll keep these in moving forward, but for now, they do all right. Uh, we'll move on to the extra deck. Extra deck is fairly standard. You have your three Kagari, three Shizuku, two Hayate, one Kaina, and two Zeke. Uh, Kagari, mandatory three of. Shizuku, mandatory three of. Uh, you could bump up Hayate to three, but uh, at the moment, just playing the two. Kaina, it's more for the game, uh, for the time game. And Zeke, Zeke is just good for getting a little bit more spot removal. Uh, last cards in the extra deck, we have one Dark, so you make it with Ray. Uh, one Donna to help get rid of that Nibiru token. I'm playing one Baguska and one Zeus. Uh, Baguska's there for... If you ever just don't have the cards, but you've got two fours, make the Baguska. You can always make the Zeus on top of the Baguska, but the idea is to steal your opponent's XCs with this, uh, and then make a Zeus with it. Onto the side, a few more board-breaking cards. We have the three evenly matched. We've got a Harpy's Feather Duster. We've got the third Thrust to help search all of our cards. We have... Two Lava Golems, in case the four Kaiju-esque monsters that we have remained aren't enough. Uh, for the branded matchup, we have the Grave of the Super Ancient Organism and the Ghost Bells. Uh, these cards help carry that battle, uh, that match. Especially Grave. Grave, you flip this on them going first or second. What, what, what can they do? Uh, and then last card in the side deck, we've got three Droll and Lockbird. Uh, I still think Droll and Lockbird is probably necessary this format. Um, but early on, I'm just giving them some room in the side deck just to see how the rest of the deck performs first uh, and see how the uh, meta shapes up. And yeah, we're, we are going to see how this new format shapes up. I think Sky Striker can make a very good rogue contender in the new format. Uh, Deck list has some room for in room for improvement, but uh, I think for now, uh, at a local level, something like this will uh, get you a bit of success. Uh, until next time, we aim to be the best in the AUS, and we game so you can too. This is George from Team FYB signing out.